Viral Science, the home of creativity. This video is sponsored by Ultium 365. It's a very good PCB designing tool and Octopart, which is a very good and fast search engine for electronic components. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'll show you how to make this robo hand, which can be controlled with this glove. Now, this glove has some flex sensors on each of the fingers. And when this sensor is bent, it changes its resistance value. And we are using this value as an input through Arduino. And we are using servo motors to control the fingers of this robo hand. Now, this is a very simple project and I'll explain you the code as well in the video. And this is the wired version. And if you want a wireless version, then do let me know in the comment section below. I can make that as well. In the wireless version, we can use the transceiver modules like NRF24L01 to make a communication between the glove and the robo hand wirelessly. So do let me know in the comment section below. And now let's begin with this video. These are the 3D files which we will be 3D printing. This is the right hand and this is the left one. This is thumb. And these are all the fingers. This is the lower extended part of the hand where we will be connecting servo motors and this is the cover for it. So now we will 3D print all these files. So till the 3D printing finishes, let's look at the sponsor of this video. Ultium 365 Designer is an amazing tool with lots of features that makes PCB designing very easy and fast. You can share your PCB designs with a click to your teammate and they will receive an email with the link where they can easily view the designs using the browser and comment the reviews and corrections on the project itself. Ultium 365 is a full build package and requires no additional licenses. And with the Octopart linked with Ultium, you can get real time insights and the data of all the components. It's the fast search engine for electronic components and you can find each minute detail of the components in it. Links for the free trial Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart is in the description below so you can check it out. So here are all the 3D printed parts ready for our robo hand and with this you will need a transparent string, you will need some adhesives to stick it and also you will need a 2mm elastic band to connect the fingers. So from the electronic section you will need an Arduino board, I am using Arduino Uno. These are the flex sensors, I am using 5 flex sensors for each of the fingers and these are the 5 servo motors. This is a pair of glove, you will need one glove. This is a breadboard and you will need some jumper wires. So now let's assemble this robo hand. So first we will need this 2mm elastic band. I am taking a piece of it and first we will assemble this thumb. So clear out these holes and pass this 2mm elastic band through these holes. Take the second piece, pass through it as well and again pass from that second piece and again to the first one. So in this way we have to assemble the fingers. So the thumb is assembled because it has just two joints. Similarly we will connect this to our main hand. We will pass this elastic band from the holes and will tie a knot on the back side. Similarly, I have assembled these fingers as well. All these fingers have three joints each and it's working perfectly. So now we'll pass on this elastic through the holes of the main hand and we'll tie a knot on the back side. So you can see in the video. And now all the fingers and the thumb is working perfectly. Now we'll connect this lower extended part to the main hand. So to do this we need to stick it and to stick it I am using this bond tight adhesive. So this adhesive just requires 5 minutes to stick. So first we'll mix the two compounds properly. We need to take equal amount of compounds. Now we'll spread it on the lower end. 
and we'll stick the upper hand and we'll match the holes so now after five minutes it dried up and it was sticked properly so now we'll connect the transparent string to each of the fingers so we'll take a piece of it and we'll pass from the top joint of the thumb and we'll tie a knot over there And now we'll pass the string from the respective corresponding holes. And at last from the hand. And from here we'll get the string at the bottom where we'll be connecting the servo motors. So now as you can see when I pull the string you can see the moment in the thumb. So this will be done by the servo motors. Similarly I have connected strings to all the 5 fingers and you can see it's working very smoothly and perfectly. So now we'll connect the servo motors on this bottom part with the super glue. You can see the alignment of the servo motors how I have sticked it. And now you need to connect this string to each of the servo motors arm. Now I have connected the string to the servo arm and also put a drop of super glue so it won't come out. So now we'll connect these flex sensors on the glove. So each finger will get a flex sensor and to stick it on this glove we'll use a needle and a thread and we'll stitch around this flex sensor on the fingers. As you can see I have done the stitching work. Make sure you don't damage the flex sensor while stitching. Also I have soldered wire to each of the flex sensors. So now it's time for the electronic connections. So here is the circuit diagram which I am demonstrating. So you need to do all the connections according to this circuit diagram. So as per the circuit diagram, I have soldered these resistors on a PCB and stitched it on the gloves. And to extend this connection to Arduino, I am using this ribbon cable. So now we will continue the remaining connections with the Arduino.
After completing the connection, it's time for the programming. So we'll connect the Arduino board with the computer. So here is the code of our project. And first we'll upload this code as it is. And after uploading, we'll read the inputs from the flex sensor and we'll note it down. So to do this, select the board that is Arduino Uno. Select the port on which it is connected and upload the code. After uploading the code, open the serial monitor. And here select the board rate as 9600 and you will find the sensor readings of the flex sensors. Note down the readings of the sensor when the hand is open and when the hand is closed. So from this we'll take the first reading when the hand was open. And we'll take the last reading when the hand was closed. So I've just put it in the comments for my reference. So here we have noted the minimum and the maximum values of the flex sensors when hand is open and closed. Over here you can find we have included the servo library because we are using servo motors. Here we have declared the servo variables and here we have declared the pin numbers for the flex sensors. So we are using analog pins for the flex sensors from A1 to A5. Here we have declared the pin numbers for the servo motors. So we are using digital pins D2 to D6 for servo motors. So here comes the main functioning of this code. So here we are reading the value from the flex sensor and we are storing it into flex1 underscore pause. And then we have used map function. What this function does is it reads the value and we have to set the range and if the value lies in that range it calculates the difference how far the value lies from the start point to the end point of that range and maps it to the other range which is the servo angle range and it will give us the single output that lies between the second range and that is the servo rotation angle we are storing it into the servo one underscore pause and we are setting the servo motor to that angle for example, if the flex sensor reading is 870, then it lies in the first range and it's exactly at the center of that range. So same will be mapped to the second range. So the center of the second range that is 0 to 180 will be 90 degrees. So 90 will be the output of this function and will set the servo angle to the 90 degree. So similarly, this thing will be done for all the flex sensors and their corresponding servo motors. At the end of the code, I've added some print statements to print the readings of the flex sensors. And if you uncomment this one, then it will print the angles of the servo motors as well. And it will be displayed on the serial monitor as we have seen before. You can also change this delay. I've set it to 300. You can set it between 100 to 500. So now we'll set the range of the flex sensors according to the input which we have got. So the first flex sensor has a range of 788 to 894. So we'll do plus and minus 5. So we'll set it to 795 to 890. Similarly, we'll do for the second one. If the range is less, then you can do plus and minus 1. So after doing it for all the flex sensor, We'll just simply upload the code. So select the board, port and upload the code. If the servo hand is not responding properly or responding automatically, then you can make some changes in the range of the flex sensor inputs. So if you bend any of your finger, then corresponding finger from the robo hand will also bend. So it was a very simple project but a bit long so i hope you like it then do hit that like button share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and i will see you in the next one do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video